to the students. Welcome to the polit political science lesson two, that is the electoral process. India has adopted democracy. And this democracy, we have to elect the representative. This elected representative goes to the parliament and then they form a government. So this is considered as democratic process. So how it works, this democratic process, we are going to learn through this chapter. So elections have played a major role in the working of India's democracy. It is very, very important. And therefore, my dear students, that elections and representations are two very important process in democracy. So elections, elections are held throughout the nation for Lok Sabha. In different stages, they are held. And then the representatives are elected. The one who gets majority of vote is considered as elected member. Then he gets the membership of the parliament. So elections, through elections, representation, these are the two process. These are very important two process of democracy. We know that people's representatives are selected through elections. So who select these representatives? It is the people of India. Those who have completed the age of 18 and above are given the chance to select the representative. They select the representative and then this, the one who gets the highest vote are elected and then he become the member of the parliament. So my dear students, elections help to bring a change in power through peaceful means. So there is a change. My dear students, you might be remembering 2014's election. Prior to that, the Indian National Congress was ruling the nation for quite many years. And in 2014, uh, Modi Sarkar, do you remember that? And according to this statement, it brings a change. People wanted to have change and they got a change in power through peaceful means. They casted vote to BJP government and then uh, Modi Sarkar formed its government at center. So this was a change uh, which brought by the people and different political parties get an opportunity to rule. So earlier Congress party was ruling from 2014 onwards it is BJP party is ruling the nation. Policies of the government, uh, for example, um, policies of the government also get changed. For example, make in India. Earlier government did not have this <coughs> make in India policy or uh, Bharat Abhiyan. They did not have this. So every new party which comes in power, they have their own policies. So uh, policies of the government and life of society also changes. So government changed their policy. As the government is changed, the policies are changed and the life of the society also gets changed. The Dear students, once the election is over and the representatives are elected, then these representatives, which we are elected, should be efficient. They should be efficient in their work. We have elected and they should go and represent us at the center, at the parliament. Therefore, they should show their efficiency in the work. They should be also honest. Honesty has to be there with them and they should be trustworthy. These are the, these are the few things, my dear students. Efficient, honest and trustworthy. 
these three qualities has to be with the elected representatives and and they should respect the opinion of the people so people always have their opinion dear student this representative they should not feel that ah now i am elected i am the king of this place no so it is the people who have given their vote and they are elected so they should also respect the opinion of the people it is vice versa the electoral process should be free now when the election is conducted in our country this process first of all it should be free no dabao no moderation has to be there everyone should be free and each individual should feel that i want to cast my vote to this particular person no one can tell him that now you are forced to cast your vote to this particular person no every individual my dear student <clears throat> are free to cast his vote to according to his choice the election process should be fair it should not be unfair um, very many time we heard that uh, money is paid to the people and they are asked to cast their vote but it should be fair and reliable that no one should cheat even uh, last time uh, we heard that uh, the machine were hacked so it should not be unreliable it should be reliable we should trust on this electoral process to ensure that the constitution of india has made provision for an independent election commission so there is a separate uh, organization a separate body rather than government which is not the government body uh, which is of the government and this body conducts the entire election process they are responsible for this election process they administer this election process and they help this election process they fix the date when the election should be conducted in how many stages the election should be conducted and when the counting has to be done and when the result would be announced so all these things is done by the election commission so in our country we have uh, election commission at the central level and at the state level too so we'll go to that um, immediately the election commission of india and the state level election commission both together conducts the entire election process in india so how do they conduct the entire process of election from declaring the date of election so first thing they have to declare the date of the election from declaring the date of election to the declaration of result after the election is conducted the declaration of result counting of the vote is done and then the uh, one who gets the highest vote is declared as the representative till the declaration of result is carried out under the direction and control of election commission so everything is under election commission at that time although the politicians are there but the election commission commission is higher than them because the country is controlled and conducted by them the election process is an inseparable component of comprehensive democratic process so democracy and election they are inseparable they cannot be separate if there is democracy then there has to be election they cannot be uh, separated from each other so it is called that the election process is an inseparable component of a comprehensive democracy comprehensive means at a large scale so it is inseparable component of comprehensive democratic process so once again i would like to tell you that 
election and democracy cannot be separated from each other. My dear students, in this chapter, we will understand the structure, functions and role of election commission. What is the structure? Who is the higher authority? Who are assisting to them? And at the um, lower level, who conducts the election? All this structure we are going to study in this lesson. Then how the election is conducted, how it functions, how the machinery functions, who, who conducts, who takes a real, who stands on the booth, who uh, takes the vote, who tells you that uh, where is your number, who applies the ink on your, uh, on your finger, okay, all these is called functioning of the of the um, uh, election process so this we are going to study and the role of election commission what role do they have so all this we are going to study through this chapter we will also discuss the reforms required to be made in the electoral process so any reforms if at all we have to make then how these reforms are made we are going to study through this chapter. So let us begin. The first point over here is election commission. Election commission, as we have, uh, as I told you, that is the head of the ele electoral process. So election commission is central to the process. It is the whole and sole power who conducts the electoral process. Article. 324 of Indian Constitution has established this autonomous body. Autonomous body means one body which is established. It is not the governmental body, but rather than that, it is the body which is going to control the entire election in our country. So this is called autonomous body, a separate body, um, a separate unit from governmental uh, government offices election commission so is established and article 324 gives more detail about uh, about this in the indian constitution so it is the autonomous body which consists of one chief election commissioner and two other commissioners so one is head and two other commissioners who assist the chief commissioner in this way we are going to um, see that how election commission functions before that let me show you um, how this article 324 is uh, is given in the indian constitution of course my dear student i have a copy of indian constitution which is in marathi so please excuse me but i would like to show you this article 324 so this is the copy of uh, Indian Constitution, which is in Marathi, Bharata Che Samvidan, Silpakar, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. You just have a look, Bharata Che Samvidan. The Constitution of India, Shambharvya Sudharne Paryant Adhyayavad, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Then we can also have a look of his photograph. And we directly go to the article 324, my dear students. I would like to read only one part of it, which is in Marathi. Please excuse me. So, Nivadnuka. Yaan samvidhana khali ghetlya zana rya samsadecha wo pratyek rajya cha vidhi mandala cha sarva nivadnuka kareta maddar yadya tayar karne. So, my dear students, here the election is conducted for parliament as well as for the state level, all the list, voters list has to be created. So, Maddan Yadya Tayar Karne, Vatya Nivod Mukanchi, Ani, Rashtrapati Vavu Prashtrapati, Yancha Padancha Nivod Mukanchi Sanchalan Karne. So, Maddan Yadya, that is a list of voters list, then President and Vice President election has to be conducted by this election commission. या कामावर अधिक्षक अधिक्षण निदेशन व नियंत्रण यांचा अधिकार या संविधानात निवडणूक आयोग 
म्हणून निर्दिष्ट केलेल्या एका आयोगाच्या ठाई निहित असेल सो हिअर द होल अँड सोल पॉवर इज गिवन बाय द कॉन्स्टिट्युशन टू द इलेक्शन कमिशन सो दे विल कंडक्ट द द इलेक्शन लोकसभा इलेक्शन अँड ऑल्सो ॲट द स्टेट लेवल इलेक्शन ॲज वेल ॲज वी आर टोल्ड दॅट प्रेसिडेंट अँड व्हाईस प्रेसिडेंट्स इलेक्शन दे आर गिवन पॉवर टू कंडक्ट this election and then article goes i am not going to uh, read all the details you please refer to your constitution copy or you also can uh, get it through the net so let us go back to our lesson what is representation modern democracy is a representative democracy in a democracy it is not possible to involve the entire population in the decision making process so if we have to take decision for our country that we have to um, extend the lockdown uh, from 3rd may onwards uh, till uh, say 20 days so we all the entire population cannot go to delhi and take this decision therefore we have selected Uh, through the election we have elected the representative this representative will take the decision for us so we are told that this resulted in the starting of the practice of electing some people who on behalf of entire population as representative who would run the government so we will elect some people from the constituency and they will run the government the representatives who forms the government are expected to be responsible to the people and give preference to the welfare of the people so uh, preference is given for the welfare of the people and they should be responsible for what they are been elected for so let us see the first election commissioner uh, of our india mr sukumar sen was the first chief election commissioner after independence in 1921 mr sen was selected for indian civil services so during the britishers time uh, here it is written under the british rule so at that time they had indian civil services ics now we have indian administrative services ias he was given the charge of the election commissioner after the election commission was established in 1950 and uh, it was the first election my dear students um, in our country uh, our people were not aware of this election and therefore for uh, mr sukumar sen it was so very difficult to conduct this um, election mr sen efficiently handled the re- responsibility of the election commission in extremely adverse condition as i told you that um, at that time many many um, uh, many states were not merged many uh, princely states were not merged into indian federation and therefore uh, so many challenges were there yet mr sen had uh, very uh, responsibility uh, he took the responsibility and conducted this uh, election efficiently the president appoints the election commissioner so it is the president who appoints the election commissioner but the chief election commissioner cannot be removed from his post very easily or on account of any political reasons so my dear students although president appoints the election commissioner he cannot be removed by the president it is the right of the parliament to remove him on uh, on a very very strong ground otherwise it is it, this post cannot be removed so easily this is necessary so as to preserve the independence of election commission so he has been given independence he is free to take this election in a free manner there is a separate provision made for the expense of election commission so uh, election requires a lot of money my dear student and therefore a separate provision is made 
to uh, and separate fund is uh, kept ready for the elections the election commission does not have a separate staff so um, we have we have learned that election election uh, chief election commissioner his uh, other uh, two election commission but they don't have separate staff then who conducts this election it is the government officers teachers and other employees who help election commission to execute the process of election so all these government officers teachers and other employees has to be paid and from where um, uh, this money will be given so a separate provision is made of expenses separate fund is kept for that and then they are paid my dear student uh, so this government officers teachers and other employees help to conduct the election in a free and fair manner uh, my dear student i uh, also have uh, worked uh, to conduct this um, uh, election process and i uh, i have made the list of voters then uh, those uh, people who have died their name has to be removed those new um, newly completed uh, their age of 18 their names has to be added so the form has to be filled uh, nowadays there are uh, forms are available on the net also so uh, through the net uh, the student student of 18 can fill their form or they can go to a um, uh, uh, person who is appointed in that vicinity and they fill the form uh, along with the photograph and then uh, after a few days the voters list will be um, will be uh, uh, checked and their names would be added so in this way this work goes on government officers teacher and employees help the election commission to execute the process of election special campaign to create awareness among the voter is run for voters registration so we have to make awareness among the people to register their name especially those uh, who completes their age of 18 they have to register their name they have to fill the form online form and then uh, their name would be added in the uh, voters list the national voters day is celebrated for this purpose my dear students we'll see the functions of election commission in the next lecture